Okay, in this video, we are going to set up the preferences for JEdit. So go to the locket, uh, rocket uh, launchpad and click on JEdit. It will open up. May have to wait a few seconds and sometimes it acts up. You need to close it, quit and restart it in order for it to work. You will have tip of the day showing up, you can close that. And one thing you want to do is keep the JEdit in the dock, in dock, so you can access it easier than going to Launchpad. So go to Options and check mark Keep in Dock. Next thing we want to do is go to JEdit Preferences. Go to editing, not general editing, and go to edit modes. Select Java as default edit mode. When you click in this little um, window, a bunch of options will show up. A lot of them actually will show up. You can just uh, type J and Java will show up. And select Java as your default edit mode. Next thing you want to do is go to mode settings and select two for tab width and indent width. If you leave it as four, it would be just indenting way too much. And when you have nested loop, for instance, it will be harder to see them on the little window for JEdit. Once you're done with setting these two up, next thing you want to do is change the font size. Because of the fact that Java programs, um, you must write uh, Java programs with correct syntax. And if you forget to put the parentheses, comma, semicolon, you will get an error. It's a good idea to make the font bigger so you can see what you're typing. In my case, I have changed it to 24. My suggestion is at least, at least change it to 18 or more. So click on it and select 18 or 24, plain, and then OK. Later on, you can go back and change other things like colors. But for the time being, please do not change any colors and leave the default colors for everything. Press OK, and you should be done. If your program is not showing colors, you need to exit the program and open it again. When you exit the program, by clicking X, it does not exit. You must click on it and choose quit in order to exit JEdit. Click on it again. When it opens up the second time, the settings will uh, take effect. Again, wait a little bit. And wait for the close the tip of the day. It's a good idea to take your time and read some of these tip of the day as we move on and learn different tricks on using JEdit. Now, if you start typing, it should start to recognize Java keywords and show different color. This will conclude our setup for JEdit.